Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. One of the ways you can provide your own data to these large language models is through RAG. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation and it enables you to provide your own documents to these large language models whether you want to manipulate text, images or any other modality. Now one of the key thing in order to provide this data to LLMs is to make these documents of your own LLM ready. The way you do it varies as per your use case but one of the most common tool which I always find quite useful is Docling. We already have covered Docling a lot on the channel from architectural view with Olama, uh, with pure installation and lot of other use cases which you can search it on the channel. But for the purpose of this video, I am going to show you how to integrate this Docling with IBM Granite models and then I will show you an end-to-end -end RAG pipeline with both of these plus Langchain and how to use your own documents in multi-modality with images, text, tables and lot of other complex unstructured data in a free Google Colab. I will be using a replicate hosted model here but if you want you can go with Olama. If you want to know how to set up Olama you can simply go to my channel and search the doc link with Olama and watch this second video. But the main focus of this video is to enable the RAG pipeline by using, as I said, these IBM Granite model with Docling. Also, I have done heaps of videos on this Granite models with Olama and otherwise. So if you're interested, just check out the channel. So what we are going to do here, what we are going to do here is to build an end-to-end -end RAG pipeline. What it means is that we will take our own document and then we will chunk it in smaller pieces we will convert that those chunks of that document in uh, through embedding model which means that we will convert it into numerical representation and from there we will store it in a vector store we will be using milvas for it but you can use any vector store of your own and then we will run a similarity search where our prompt will be appended with this results from our vector store and we will give a grounded data to LLM which is going to return us the response grounded in our own data. So that is the whole scenario which we are going to follow through. So let's get started. First thing just go to Google Colab and this is a free stuff so you don't have to worry about any of um, the infrastructure and installation. First up let's install all the prerequisites so you can see that I'm installing transformer, pillow, langchain, docling and replicate. As I said, just go to Replicate's website, which is replicate.com and from there sign in and then just create your token. This is a paid option, but you might get a free credit uh, if you this is the first time you are logging in. So I, uh, I'm already logged in. I already have this key, which I have stored as a secret here on the left hand side in my Google Colabs. If I scroll down, this is my Replicate key, which I am using. Okay, so you can see that it is installing all the prerequisites. So let's wait for it to get installed. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Okay, let's go back here. Shouldn't take too long from here. All the prerequisites are done. Let's scroll down and next we need to, sorry, I'll just press code here. And then we need to first download the embedding model. And I'm just downloading it locally from Hugging Face. And it's a very, very small embedding model. And the embedding model is almost done. That's done. So we need three models for this embedding model to convert our documents into numerical representation. And then we need this vision model and for image understanding, of course, from that PDF document, which we will pass through Docling. And then we would also need a large language model to chat with. So for vision model, as I mentioned earlier, we are using that Replicates API token, which I already have stored in my secrets and you can obtain it from replicate.com. And I am using Granite Vision. If you want to go with Olama hosted model local, then just watch this video and it's a drop-in replacement. So let me run this. And this model is done for the RAG generation. We need the LLM 
and again i'm going with this granite 3.28 billion instruct model from replicate and that is also done so our models are done next up we need to get the document the pdf document and then we just need to use docling which is an open source toolkit to parse these documents and then uh, we will use it with docling to download and then convert it let me quickly show you the document too so this is the pdf document which i'm going to use it is quite a complex unstructured document with lot of images text bullet points tables graphs charts maps and lot of other stuff so it should be a good representative data point so let me run this to process it through toggling and that is completed took a bit of a time so just be patient with it now with the documents processed now we further process the text elements in that document so the code which i just pasted what is happening here is that we are chunking them into appropriate sizes for the embedding model we are using and then uh, you see that we are using lang chain to create the documents from the text chunk so let me run this and that was fairly quick with docling so text is done next up we can also get all the tables from the document that is also done you see it says that one doc table document created and now finally what we can do we can parse the images from that document so if you look at this code all we are doing we are processing any image in the document and we are using the vision model which we are getting from replicate to understand the content of in the image so we are interested in any textual information in the image we can also experiment with different prompt text to see how uh, it could improve the result but i'm just going to go with this one so it is just processing that image there you go so it is getting all those pictures as you can see in real time and it is quite good and that is the beauty of docling that it is very performant it works very very well with text with tabular data with images and that is why um, i would highly encourage you to watch these videos on docling i'm sure you are going to be blown away with the quality of docling okay and this video is not sponsored by docling by the way and this takes a long time depending upon the images so i'm just going to pause the video here and i'll show you once all the images are done and took around a couple of minutes and it has done all the 54 images here next up we can display uh, those documents which we have created so we are just printing them out so i'll just go here you see these are all the stuff so if i quickly take you above you see these are the ones document id source content this is the image this is the image text in the image it has it is multimodal so it has even retrieved the text out of it okay so that is cool and now we have the data now we need to put it in our vector store so for the vector vector store i'm just going to use milvus you can use any of your choice so what we are going to do here by using that embedding model we are loading the document from the text chunks and generated images uh, captioning into a vector database and primarily this vector database is enabling us to easily conduct a semantic similarity search across our documents which is a cornerstone of rag as i mentioned earlier again once we run it it is going to take a bit of a time so because it populates it okay it was very quick this time which is good so creation was good quick so let's see how long does it take to add the elements into that vector store so okay it was also quick very nice okay so everything is ready in terms of our components for the rack pipeline and we can even test it out so for instance if you just ask a query from that vector store which we have just created at how much spent how much was spent on this uh, food distribution relative to the amount of food there you go so it has given us a page content page content and then all the metadata around it and it found it in this uh, the relevant similarity uh, content it was found in this document at this source here in this chunk so pretty cool now let's create the rack pipeline for granite so what we are going to do first we are going to create the prompts for granite to perform the rack query uh, because we are using granite model so we are going to use 
its own chat template let me show you the code so this is what i'm talking about so after importing the stuff we are creating the prompt for granite we uh, in the chat template and we are also providing some uh, placeholder values that the lang chain rack pipeline will replace and then the context is going to hold the retrieve chunks and then we are feeding this into the model as document context for answering the question so you can simply just run it and it is going to create a template for it once the template is created you can simply run this because you already have performed the templates it is invoking that rank chain and these are the questions which we asked now it has simply gone in and then the query which we ran before which was also giving us metadata now it is giving us a very very well grounded answer just from the document without any other metadata but and you can ask it any query of your choice all you need to do is just replace this query here and then we have very very properly formatted it so that instead of this answer it will be like this grounded answer so this is how uh, you create an ai application that can successfully leverage knowledge from the source document and text and images multimodal with docklink doesn't matter what sort of pdf document you have and there are a lot of other things which you can do with it you can simply extract the tables you can do analytics on them which i already have covered in other videos and the point here is that just pick up your documents throw it into this vector store and with the help of docklang milvus and these models you can simply use uh, them to create a end-to-end -end rack pipeline you can also put in some of the guardrails which i have covered in other videos and as i said if you don't want to use hosted models because they are expensive in terms of api calls and if you have thousands and thousands of documents you really don't want to get blown away by these costs and get slugged with these latency or throttling issues so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching